how to sell digital products on Shopify free and easy tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video, we're gonna be talking in great detail and depth about how we are going to be adding digital products and selling them on Shopify, okay? Now when it comes to working, with actual digital products, it's uh, really simple and it's a really basic and general use of uh, your Shopify space. And trust me, it's one of the easiest things that you can do for your Shopify section. So basically, we're just gonna get into the whole working of that. And once we get into the whole working of that, it's gonna be really simple to go ahead with this. So to start things off, what we are gonna wanna be doing is we are going to go ahead into our Shopify section and we're going to choose if we want to create these products for ourselves or if we want to use a third party plugin provider. All right. So normally people sell digital products by themselves. Like not a lot of people sell digital products through drop shipping. But if you want to create a digital product, you can create that product into your Shopify store. We're going to click on add product. And you can choose, uh, let's say I'm going to add digital, let's say I'm going to make a digital planner. Okay, we're going to write that. You can write the description that, hi guys, it's a digital planner, etc, etc. You can give it a product category of a planner if you want to. And once you do that, you're going to basically upload medias of it, of uh, how the digital product works and all. And what you're going to do over here or how you're actually going to make it into a digital product is you're going to add digital files to the product details page. Okay. And how are you going to add digital files? Basically, you're going to add them in the description and you're going to be like, uh, yeah, this is the product. If you purchase it, obviously this product will be emailed to you or this product will be downloaded for you. And you can obviously add the media over here of uh, how this product works. Let's say this digital product is uh, some PDF, right? Or let's say it's any type of other thing. So those could be added over here, or you can simply go over to content and add a digital product from there. So digital downloads can obviously be used through third-party plugin providers as well. So to add a digital product, first you need to create a product, which we did, then return to the digital downloads app to add digital files to the product details page. So we're going to go to apps. We're going to go in all recommended apps and we're going to go to Shopify app store to actually add the digital downloads app. So I'm going to go here and we're going to write digital. And once you write digital, you're going to click on enter. And once you click on enter here, it gives you all these things. Now digital downloads is Shopify's very own and built app. Okay. As you can see, the developers are Shopify. So we're Obviously, it's pretty trusted. So we're just going to go exactly with this and we're going to click on install. Now, once you click on install, basically what's going to happen from here is it's going to take you into the install section. I'm simply going to click on install app and that will install the main app for us. Now, as you can see on the left hand side, we have the digital download app installed. And once you have the app installed from here, you can actually start adding digital files for these products, right? Now, as you can see, I've added a digital planner over here. So I'm going to click on add digital files for this planner and you can actually start adding the files for yourself. So I'm going to click on add files and uh, you can go with any digital file that you have. Let's say I'm going to go with uh, this file over here. Okay. I'm going to add this file and obviously I'm going to put it up for a sale that, uh, hi guys, uh, we have this product and, uh, if you purchase it, you will get it into your downloads or something like that. And you don't have to worry about if people are going to get it or not because Shopify will fulfill that for you. And obviously the fulfillment is going to be here. So digital planner fulfillment type, select how to send digital files to customers, automatically send files or manually send files. Now, if someone downloads this file, if you set it on manually, basically you're going to get an email telling you that, Hey, this person purchased it. So send it to them. So that's manual. You're going to send it. If a person purchases it, you're going to get the email. You're going to, you know, they're going to tell you that this person has purchased it. So you should send them the digital file. And that is exactly what you're going to do. So I would prefer to keep it at automatic 
because that just saves you a lot of time and I would prefer to keep it at automatic to be very honest. So yeah, uh, once you do that, basically from there on out, what we are going to want to do is we're going to go and we're going to save this. Now, once you save this, we are going to go back here and here you have your digital planner and uh, you can start seeing the orders for your digital downloads over here and you can fulfill them from the same place as well and you can also get these things ready so these are the email templates so if someone purchases it's going to send them this email your download is ready hey customer thank you for your purchase here are your downloads now it's going to start giving them the link for the download and moving on you can also get the digital file update so update is available for the digital file if you want to get it you can give them that as well and the setting is obviously make sure it's activated and make sure that it's in your storage catalog okay so to check if it's in my storage catalog i'm going to click on view online store once you click on view online store i'm going to click on shop all obviously it takes a few seconds to get into your store but here we go digital planner here we have it now again if someone clicks on buy it now as i told you it will not just download it for them straight away it will send them an email telling them that hey your product has been added here you go so again that is exactly why i recommended it to keep it at automatic download because if you keep it on manual then it's a hassle for you to constantly you know go ahead and cross reference and cross check if people have actually gotten it and you know it could cause a lot of issues so Automatic would make a lot of sense. But yeah, that's the general idea of how you are going to sell digital products on your Shopify store. Now, if I were to go through it all again, simply the first step to this is uh, we're going to go to our Shopify app store. OK, and uh, when you're in your Shopify app store, you're going to download the digital downloads app. Once you download the digital downloads app, you're going to add a product that you want to make a digital download for. Once you've added the product, simply from there, upload the media or upload, you know, whatever is required for that product. And once you do that, yeah, basically you're going to be good to go. So that's the common, you could say, idea of how we're going to do this for ourselves. And yeah, so I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me I am always available and I will give you the easiest step to step guides for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Before signing off, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. So until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.